Dear third semester VTU civil stream students, I welcome you all into my channel. Hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation for your upcoming theory examinations. Today I have started uh, your passing package series. Uh, I am with the subject uh, strength of materials, first subject of your third semester. Its subject code is uh, BCV301. So let me discuss over here what is the passing strategy, what is the passing package, or uh, in other words, what are the important questions from each and every module, right? As this subject is the combination of numericals as well as theoretical portions so I can say that 50 50 is the game 50 percent theory 50 percent numerical but your focus main focus should be on numerical part okay a lot of times VT is asking numericals for civil stream students so in the model first we have here theoretical portions uh, like uh, define the following terms uh, Poisson's ratio modulus of rigidity impact load volumetric strain shear stress and shear strain these are some definition part which you can easily go through and a super important question uh, is here that is derive the relationship between modulus of elasticity that is Angus modulus modulus of rigidity and Poisson's ratio this becomes the 10 marks question and next one is derive the relationship between Young's modulus bulk modulus and Poisson's ratio at least you should get uh, these two derivations and you should have practice on these two derivations necessarily right next we have a rod of length L tapers uniformly from a diameter D at one end to a diameter D at the other uh, derive the expression for the extension caused by an axial load P the material has Young's modulus of elasticity E so this is the another derivation for your tapered bar next one we have here derive an expression for circular tapering bar so these are the five important theoretical concepts or derivations you can see that and as far as problems are concerned you have to go through these uh, tapered bar problems or stepped bar problems very easier one you can refer also YouTube for your reference YouTube videos are available and uh, for numerical part you should refer 18 CV 32 paper and BCV 301 previous year three question papers are enough to cover numerical portion for this particular module over here okay so this is all about first module now coming to the model second we have here some definitions define hogging bending uh, bending moment uh, and sagging bending moment right next we have derive the relationship between loading shear force and bending moment super important one next show that the maximum bending moment for a simply supported beam carrying udl of intensity w per u length is uh, wl square divided by 8 so this is the derivation which uh, you should compulsorily cover next is establish the relationship between shear force bending moment and intensity of udl next explain with neat sketch different types of beams supports and loadings and next one is the numerical portion which is the most important one in second module that is sfd shear force diagram and bending moment diagram problems this may be the 12 marks question or 15 marks surely in VTU examination okay so your main focus should be on SFD and BMD problem if you are unable to understand the SFD and BMD problems my problem solving videos are also available on YouTube channel I will provide the link in the description box so that you will get some idea how you have to draw the SFD and BMD so make sure you will watch the video and try to understand the concept then later on you can do any problem from SFD and BMD as far as numerical same you have to refer 18 CV 32 and BCV 301 coming to the model third which is again a passing module define modulus of rupture section modulus and flexural rigidity derive bending equation with usual notations and list the assumptions made in pure torsion derive torque equation with usual notation the question we are having with prove that in case of rectangular section of a beam the maximum shear stress is 1.5 times average shear stress derive an expression for power transmitted by a shaft and uh, you have to focus on numerical part that is bending stress and shear force distribution i sections i section is super important in this case so same uh, refer previous year question papers for the problematic part as I earlier said that it is the combination of numerical and theoretical portion so it becomes very important for a student to cover numericals also otherwise you cannot pass this subject only by theory itself most of the terms so what we is asking they are asking much more portion from the numerical part next one we have here model fourth what assumptions are made in Euler's formula De deduce a formula for the critical load of a column having both ends hinged for a simply supported beam carrying a point load at the center determine the mag magnitude of maximum deflection and define slope deflection and curvature 
derive moment curvature equation and fifth one we have differentiate between long columns and short columns and derive an expression to determine the buckling load for column when one end is fixed other end is hinged and list the various assumptions made in Euler's column theory and uh, if you are convenient uh, these problems are very simpler ones that is problems on columns so for numerical part same you have to refer next we have model fifth derive principal plans and uh, principles sorry this is not derived actually this is defined principal plans and principal stresses differentiate between thin cylinders and thick cylinders and derive Lamy's equation with usual notation what are the assumptions made in Lamy's equation show that in a thin cylinder the hoop stress is twice the longitudinal stress and fifth one we have show that the plans of a maximum shear stress are inclined at 45 degree with the principal plans and explain maximum shear stress theory of failure and if you are convenient go through problems of lender and thick slender right so my suggestion to you guys is go through thick slender and thin slender problems very easier one and also these uh, column problems this is the second option so from the third module if you are not convenient with the problematic part you can neglect it but for the module second it is very necessary to go for sfd and bmd problems so module 2 module 4 and module 5 problems are simpler ones and also module first these are also easier ones so you should go through these four module numerical part you can easily ace the examination you can easily pass the SOM subject in the first attempt itself so i wish you all the best for your examinations my dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you